Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with Wendy. Today's subject is going to be about one of my little pet peeves in this world, and it's called spitting. Now, I really don't understand why people have to spit so much. It really just grosses me out, to be quite frank. So I thought that what I would do while I was discussing this issue is to go ahead and look up some information on spitting. And here's what I found. It says spitting, or expectoration, is the act of forcibly ejecting saliva or other substances from your mouth. Normally considered rude, it is a social taboo in many parts of the world, though spitting can be occasionally observed in some places. Now, I can understand everyone sometimes gets an abundance of saliva, but the need to actually project it out is what gets me going. It really grosses me out when I'm walking down the street and I see someone spitting especially if I'm walking down the street and I see this big hunk of loogie sitting right there on the ground. I just don't get it. I've told this to my nephews. Stop spitting, I tell them. And yet, I don't know, maybe it's male testosterone, testosterone, sorry, um, an abundance in their system that produces this great saliva that they feel that they have to just eject from their mouths. I just don't get it. Now, I do understand that there are occasions when you may have to spit. For instance, one time I was either talking or eating, both of which I do quite often, and a bug flew in my mouth. Now, under those circumstances, I believe spitting is permitted because you must spit the thing out. I mean, you just can't swallow that bug or whatever it may be. So in that case, I believe spitting should be allowed. Um, sometimes you take a drink of coffee, soda, whatever. Someone makes you laugh and pfft, you just spit the thing out. Now that happens as well. But aside from those, you know, certain times, I just don't get the whole hawking and a loogie and spitting it kind of thing. I think that in today's civilized world, we perhaps can overcome our urges to spit. You know, unless you're one of those people that chews tobacco, which of course you have to spit out those juices because that can really be dangerous for you to swallow. I understand that. I'm talking about just normal everyday life where I really don't feel that spitting is necessary. Now, when I was researching this whole spitting thing, I found something very interesting. And if I can, I will try to put it on this uh, video, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. But apparently, there is a tribe in Africa, currently, still today, that has dung spitting contests. You can actually find this on YouTube, and I actually did go to YouTube and find it, where people actually put the dung of antelopes in their mouths and spit it out for a contest. I'm thinking this is not such a good idea. I'm thinking that there's a lot of diseases in that dung and you might not want to be putting it in your mouth. Just my opinion. Well, I'd like to know your opinion on spitting. If you think it's taboo or if you think it's acceptable. Uh, and, you know, you could comment on this YouTube video, as the other videos you can also comment on. Let me know your opinion on spitting. And I think that, as I gave advice in my other videos, I think the next time that you feel the urge to spit, perhaps you should take 10 seconds. Breathe in, breathe out, and let the urge pass. Well, that wraps up another edition of Wendy's talk, Coffee Talk for today. Toffee cock, I almost said. Well, there I did, I said it. This wraps up the video for today. 
Have a good one. And keep that spit where it's supposed to be.